Hey guys, I'm Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Welcome to the video. So, I've had a lot of people ask me, can dogs get pneumonia? Now, totally. They can get all kinds of pneumonia, like a bacterial or a fungal, uh, some kind of infectious organism causing the pneumonia. The pneumonia is just infection in the lungs, inflammation in the lungs. Uh, well, bronchitis is inflammation in the lungs, but infection is pneumonia in the lungs. So, what does pneumonia look like? Pneumonia will usually present with a cough and maybe labored breathing. The chest is just working harder in the doggy. And as well, guys, the the dog may be lethargic, have a fever, not want to eat very much, just lethargic and just being off. But if you look at the dog's chest, they're going to be breathing in harder than normal. And this is definitely something that needs to be checked out. Now, a veterinarian is going to look your dog over. Listen, They will listen to the lungs. They need to listen to the lungs. The lungs may, they may call it an increased bronchovesicular sounds. Or they may just say it sounds kind of busy in there. Either way, those dogs need an x-ray. Now, with pneumonia, you need to do an x-ray. You need to see how, bi how bad is it. Do we have a bronchial pattern where it's kind of just speckled all the way through the lungs? Or do we have an alveolar pattern where we have some consolidation in the lungs? We need to know what we're dealing with. Also, you want blood work. Do we have a generalized white cell spike? Do we have other things that are going on that could be problematic as we treat the doggy? Now, every pneumonia case is different. I prefer to start off with them in the hospital with an IV, supportive IV antibiotics, support, supportive fluids. A hydrated dog is a much healthier dog. And guys, if this content has been helpful, please like and subscribe because it's free. IV fluids are great because the dog dehydrated, and IV antibiotics are far more effective than PO antibiotics. So this is a kind of a thought. If your dog has pneumonia, it really should be in the veterinary hospital day one. Probably even day two, maybe even day three. But we'll see what happens, guys. And then next, you're going to want to do oral antibiotics. Your veterinarian is going to pick the best oral antibiotic. Now, here's the kicker. Like a general practitioner like me, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of transtracheal washes, those kind of fancy things, because that's just kind of above me. If you go to a specialty clinic, yeah, they're going to do that, and they're probably going to have bacterial culture it and PCR it. Now, most veterinarians like myself can PCR it, to polymerase chain reaction, they need to diagnose like a viral issue, and we can also swab the upper airways too, but to really get down there, to get really down to the chest... Transtracheal washes, something like that's going to be how you diagnose it. And a lot of times the veterinarian's not going to do that because it's just too invasive. And it could affect the, the airways and breathing, so safety first. So a veterinarian's going to prescribe an antibiotic that they feel like is appropriate. And it's good to have a really open line communication with your veterinarian. Phone calls, regular visits. I like people to come back in day two, day three, just get spot checks. Just to make sure we're not falling behind and to make sure what we picked is working. Recheck x-rays are paramount. You need to make sure that you're getting better. Because let's be honest, guys. If it was your chest and your chest looked like just garbage, just full of pneumonia, you'd want to get a repeat x-ray too, right? Yeah, right. So that's why you want to get a dog for your dog as well. Retake those x-rays and make sure we're getting better. Now, in most cases, once you, especially a young dog, once you treat them and they get better, I'm not really expecting it to come back. Uh, it should be kind of a one and done. And we're talking about bacterial infections today, of course.